I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw diamond head in Oahu, Hawaii. I come all the way over here on the left and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curved line up, wavy line over, down, keep going, up, and off the page. I come back over here to this point and I'm going to draw a wavy line over, up, down, and off the page. Inside this space, I'm going to start here at the bottom. Okay, let's start up here at the top. Let, yeah, okay. Let's draw a wavy line up, down, up, down, and leave it floating. Come right next to it, wavy line up, down, up, and a curve line out to the edge of the paper. Come down a little bit and we're just going to draw a slightly wavy line up, over, and leave it floating. I come right about here and I put a dot on the left and now I'm going to draw a wavy line wavy line down, wavy line over, wavy line down, wavy line over, off the page. In this space right here, I'm going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line, slightly curved line, going down, over, up, off the page. In between each one of these spaces, I'm going to add wavy line up, down, wavy line up, down, wavy line, wavy line, up, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line up, wavy line up, wavy line down, up, over, and off the page. We're going to use these lines for our coloring. Now I come over here on the left and I'm just going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line off the page. Right next to it, curve line, curve line, curve line, and connect. As an overlap, curve line, curve line, curve line, back, connect. Now I come all the way down here at the bottom and I'm going to mimic these line, these wavy lines. Leave them floating. Wavy, 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 off the paper on the right side. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, what you have to realize is, is that Diamond Head is an extinct volcano. This is the inside, this is the outside. We're going to put some yellow green here in the center because it does have vegetation. Then we're going to come down and we're going to add some loop-de-loop -loop yellow green at the base of our land. Okay? We're going to bring it up. Now, what's good about this project is it really doesn't matter if you put your color exact because it's a landform. So we're going to blend our colors. We're going to do like maybe four different colors on top of each other. When you do do that, you want to, okay, this should be brought out to this edge. You want to make sure that you start pretty much from light to dark. Okay, so we started out with the yellow green. Now, I'm going to come in with a gray. And when I do the gray, I'm going to try to follow those guidelines I spoke about earlier. So, if I have a curved line, I put some gray. If I have a wavy line, I put some gray. So, I'm just going to build up my color. 
by using my crayon and my guidelines to help me get all these layers of color because each one represents another stage of the landform. Okay, so we're going to bring it all the way down, bring it over, and don't forget we're going to come inside and do the top with some gray, bring it all the way over, and the bottom we're going to do some gray. Now, you can always come back and add more, but you can't take it away. So that's why we like to start and build our color light to dark. Okay, now I've got my gray. The next color I'm going to do is my brown. And you don't have to add a solid brown part. But again, follow these lines that we already drew as your guidelines. Now, because you're adding a darker color over some of these other colors we already put in, you're going to see how they blend. So I'm going to add up, down, up, down on the very rim of my diamond head. Now I'm going to bring my brown down and I'm going to follow those lines again that we drew. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, because the colors will eventually all blend in together. So basically that's what we're doing. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more up on top. And you can do any kind of crayon line you want. I'm doing up, down, up, down. You can do loop-de-loop. -loop. It's up to you. Like I said, we're just building up our colors. Okay, so that's the brown. Next, I know it might sound strange, but I'm going to use my purple as my accent dark color. And again, I'm using these wavy lines, these curved lines, as my guide. And like I said again, you don't have to be exact because it is a landform. You don't look at a landform and go, oh, that needs to be a straight line. No, they're all pretty much curved lines, wavy lines, all drawn together. And the crayon coloring, exceptionally, you want to do a blend. So this is pretty much our dark. The last thing you want to do is black. You don't want to do too much. Sometimes we go a little crazy with black and then you lose your picture. So that's why I like using the guidelines that I already drew and just use that part to add a little bit of black. Because like we always say, you can take, you can always add color but you can't take it away. So you got to be careful with some of these like black, some of the darker colors. And I think that's it for my diamond head. We'll come back to it in just a minute. In the meanwhile, I'm going to take a turquoise blue because it is Hawaii and it has a beautiful sky. So I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop turquoise blue. These are around my spaces. Loop-de-loop. -loop. Get that color in. You can see how it really brightens up the whole entire picture. So I'm going to use blue, green, turquoise blue for my sky. But then I'm going to come in and down here at the bottom, just to give it a different look, I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop my regular blue for my ocean down here at the bottom. Now the part that I'm not coloring is the part above these wavy lines. That's supposed to be the surf. You will do a way better job than me coloring, but that gives you the gist of it all. Now you kind of step back a little bit and go, hmm, 
Do I need to add a little bit more gray to make this look a little bit more? You can now is when you can stop and add colors. So I'm going to add gray because it's a neutral and it picks up the landform part. All right. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Diamond Head in Oahu, Hawaii. Okay, bye-bye.